Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect Postgres with Rust. Now, there's a lot of demand for this video. This is the reason I'm creating it because a lot of people use Postgres when they build servers with Rust and this is the perfect video to how to connect them both. All right, now this video is going to be a part of the 50 Rust project series playlist that's there on my channel. I already have 34 videos in this uh, playlist. I'm going to be keep adding more videos in this playlist and this particular video, the Rust Postgres one will also be there uh, in this series. Now, the idea is to have projects in the increasing level of difficulty so that when you start building these you start gaining more and more knowledge about rust i have a similar series for golang if you're new to this channel there's a series, similar series for golang as well which has 53 killer golang projects and then i have more series for system design technology architecture substrate development if you want to build your own blockchains then you have ai and llm which is uh, something that i'm uh, continuously adding more projects to it's already 11 projects so this is like a lot of awesome free content on this channel make sure you subscribe make sure you share it with your friends now let's get started with building the project so here in the right terminal you can see that i'm logged in as the postgres user on my pc and i can um, say psql which helps me enter the postgres uh, cli and here i can check the the tables that exist here Okay, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have a table called library and I'm going to go ahead and drop that database. So you have a, not table, I meant database. <laughs> I have a database called library. I'm going to go ahead and delete that database already. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that database. So I'm going to say create database from scratch, which is library. So this creates the database for me and I can uh, go into the library database. So I can connect to the library database with uh, this command slash c library. So I'm now inside library and I say slash dd and I do not find any relations which is basically there are no tables in the library uh, uh, in the database. But now when I run my Postgres pro project on the left in the terminal you see that I have uh, cargo run in my project. So I'm going to hit cargo run and now once it's stopped running i'm going to go ahead and say slash dt and then i'll see there are two tables created one is called author the other is called the book so we're going to perform a very basic operation we're just going to connect uh, postgres to rust and going to create these two tables just so that you get an idea of how to work with postgres and rust and uh, the other thing is you need to have obviously postgres either installed or you need to be running on docker so i'll leave it to you you find the best way to do it. And then in my case, what I've done is I've created a user called Postgres and the password for this user is Postgres itself. You'll find plenty of documentation on uh, online on how if you wanted to create your own user Postgres, but I, otherwise you get this user by default. But in case you didn't, there's some problem with uh, the installation. You'll, you'll be able to easily create your own user Postgres. You'll be able to create, uh, set the password, which is Postgres again. Once you, in my case, that's the username and password, Postgres, Postgres. And uh, PSQL basically enables you to uh, do all of this, which is interact with the CLI and list the, uh, the databases, drop databases, create databases, and then connect to your database and then find the list of uh, tables. Now this code will be there in my GitHub. I'm Akhil Sharma 90 on GitHub. In case uh, you find some issues with this code, make sure you check it out. The code won't be more than 10, 12 lines. It's a very simple, basic project. Anybody can do it, even if you don't know Rust a lot, you should, you should still be able to build this. So let's start coding. So I'm going to go to my terminal, say uh, cargo new Rust Postgres YT for YouTube. This is a YouTube video. And I will uh, CD into it and I will open up my code editor. Now when you run the cargo new command, you obviously get uh, your cargo.toml file and your SRC. Okay, uh, under the cargo.toml file, we just need one thing, which is Postgres. <laughs> That's it. And in, your, in our main.rs file, uh, we're going to, whatever we just get, got, which is Postgres, we're going to go ahead and get it. So, just sorry, I'll just pull my mic closer here. So, Postgres, and then I'm going to get client from Postgres. I'm going to get no tls and error these three things i'm gonna have a main function comma error which is from postgres so we can we might get an error when we try to 
connect to uh, Postgres. So not expecting a result back, just expecting like if it gets connected, then I just execute the Postgres commands and then create those two tables that I showed you. Otherwise, I might, might get an error. <clears throat> and I'll create a mutable called client with a small c. And I'm going to use client, which is capital C client, which I got from Postgres to create, to connect to my Postgres instance. So this one line, that's, that's enough. That's all you need to connect to Postgres actually. So we'll say Postgres. And uh, in my case, the username is Postgres. The password is Postgres at localhost. And my Postgres uh, database is running on 5432. The database that I want to connect to is library. Now make sure that you have the database created. So create database library. Uh, library is all small. Create database is all caps. Whenever you work with Postgres, make sure you have the li library database created, like I did uh, when I when I showed you here. Uh, because otherwise, you won't be able to connect to the database because you connect to a specific database in Postgres. Now, uh, because you have created the client which which is connected to Postgres now, so the now you're able to use or, or run commands with the help of just client, which is small c. And you are going to batch execute these commands, these next few commands that I'm going to show you. The first command is create table. So in this database called library, we'll create a table called if, obviously if it doesn't exist, which is author. It's going to have ID, name, and country. And ID is serial and primary key ID is always primary key right this is varchar and not null and country is varchar not null all right um for a question mark here and then I have another command client dot batch execute create table if not exists book and similarly you can you can batch execute as many commands as you want I'm just gonna have these two which is creating two tables uh, this is also be primary key then I have title which is varchar not null and author id right author id is going to come from here which is the author table so author id in my case is integer not null and it references the author table make sense so these shouldn't be tabs, these should just be spaces. Just make sure you get that all right. And uh, now these you can try to format if possible. All right, here also I'll put a question mark and a semicolon and then just okay. Perfect. So this is our code to not only just connect with Postgres, but also to create these two tables with the help of the batch execute command. So now what I'll do is I'll go ahead again here and I'll say slash Q and uh, I'll say again PSQL because if I do slash Q it just exits the complete, uh, not just the database, but also the CLI, Postgres CLI. And here I'm gonna go ahead and drop database library again and create the database library again from scratch i could have deleted those two tables but it's just easier to drop the database that's much faster right and i'm going to slash c library and slash dd just to see if there are any tables there so right now it says no tables found so here i'm going to go ahead and say cargo run it's going to get the postgres create for me and install all the other uh, dependencies required and now as you see here you get an issue which is perfectly all right we were expecting that here it should have been a question mark 
So that's the benefit with Rust. You get exactly where the issue is. It tells you like <laughs> where exactly the issue is and, and what the issue could be and how to fix it. So that's the best part with Rust, right? And again, when you run slash dd, you get both these tables. That means everything is working perfectly fine. I want to quickly tell you about my course, which is six AI plus Golang advanced projects. And this is 26 hours of extremely detailed content where you get extremely detailed planning exercise for each project. We built six AI projects and a AI Discord bot, a Whisper API bot, Telegram AI bot, Kubernetes AI, Terraform AI, Copilot and Assistants and Terminal AI Assistant. This project itself is about eight to nine hours. This one is five hours. This one is again four to five hours. So there's a lot of lot of uh, awesome value that you get here. If, if you're uh, looking for a job or upgrading yourself in 2024, like a promotion or getting a salary hike, you need to know AI. You need to know how to build production level applications with AI and Golang. This is the perfect project. Make sure you check this out. Make sure you buy it, learn it, learn uh, all these six projects. A lot of value. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do share it with your friends. Uh, it's all of this content is for free. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.